Are you too young to drink here? No. Oh no, I can no, no. You can here. definitely drink here. And I can drink in America now, too, so that's nice. <laughs> oh yeah, wasn't it your birthday the other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just turned twenty-one. So you're a Libra. Yeah. As well. I'm also a Libra. Um, the vibe. So. We're just all balanced out. American Honey is the new film by British-born director Andrea Arnold, who's best known for Fish Tank. Co-produced by Vice Company, Pulse Films, it's shot in a documentary style and follows a group of runaway teens across the Midwest. It's a business opportunity. We go door to door, we sell magazines. We explore, like, America, we party. Come with us. A lot of the characters were cast on the street, and the star of the film, Sasha Lane, was found on a beach in Florida during spring break. Okay, good. You're hired. Yeah. We're meeting her in Camden to talk about her first time acting opposite Shia LaBeouf and her experience on this two-month road trip. I've obviously heard the story of how you got picked up. Mm -hmm. Was that just, like, as fairy tale as it sounds? Yeah, it was... I mean, probably less fairy tale because it was, like, a mix of, like... I was... I got kicked out of my hotel, and that's how I ended up on that beach. And then, like, some strangers <laughs> were at my place, and then I moved suitcases into her car, and luckily she didn't kill me. So, like, the less prettier version, but still very much, like, this doesn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so what actually happened? Did she just come up to you, Andre Arnold, and say, like, you look perfect? God, she didn't just walk up. She ran up to me. That kind of thing happens in England. Like, there'll be a model scout or something, but it will oh. be really sketchy. Yeah. Like, w was it, like, were you worried that it would be, like, a scam or something like that? Yeah, but also, I mean, if you just have, like, a British woman who has a cowboy hat and overalls on, <laughs> at least you don't get the danger feel. But, of course, I was still really, like, skeptical of, is this even real? Like, what do you... When so she came to my hotel <laughs> that night, I was just like, oh, you're here. Okay. How about, like, your family? Because if you were out on spring break, did you have to, like, call them up and yeah. tell them? Yeah, um, they were freaking out. My mom was actually more chill about it, but I remember having a conversation with my dad, and he was just like, you know, I feel like you're not asking me, you're just telling me. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So regardless of what they said, I was like, well, I'm doing it, you know? When you were younger, did you ever think that you would be an actor? No, no. <laughs> Way too awkward and uncomfortable. And also it just wasn't one of those things that you felt like you could do. And I wasn't really interested in like the whole industry part of it and everything, so. Spring break just got me. <laughs> <laughs> the film like really captures this kind of raw American youth culture. Mm -hmm. So then you had Andrea Arnold, who's a British director, mm -hmm. coming and exploring that world. Yeah. How did she gain your trust? Because um, she's really, really empathetic. She's understanding that she's taking these kids from the street and like people who know this life and that she isn't from there. So she gives us like freedom to like go about it as we do. And she did the whole road trip and everything before we started filming. She looks deeper, you know, and she, she sees you for who you are. And that's really special. It's a good connection to make with the director. Was she quite maternal? Because all of you are yeah. so much younger. Yeah, but also she was like fun, you know, she was like, down to hang out with us and stuff. So she's like the fun mom. <laughs> Is she okay? Oh yeah, you just gotta keep bringing your prayers, darling. I've been trying to be Christian, but I can see the devil has a hold of the two of you. <laughs> I think the devil has a hold of your daughter. I love the soundtrack so much. Mm. It's literally like trap, yeah. country, yeah. dub, it's yeah, everything in yeah. there. Where did that music come from? Was that all of you guys putting in your input or was that her finding the music? Um, a little bit of both, you know, like when she did that road trip, she would hear what everyone was listening to. And so she would, you know, fall in love with it and pick it up. It was like a group thing, it was cool. Hey! Where are you going? To make money! Hop in. I make money yeah. and get tired. Oh. I like a girl with spunk. Oh. On a really, like, crude level, Star just had nothing and she kind of really jumped into this adventure and she didn't know what she was going into. And you also just jumped into this adventure, <laughs> yeah. which is completely different from anything that you knew. Yeah. Did you kind of relate to your character in that way? Yeah, definitely. It was kind of this whole, like, what do you have left to lose? Um, and also, I feel like she's really free, too. And just, yeah, it was just like, well, might as well hop in that car. <laughs> what are you doing, Jake? Now, get the keys, get the money. Car. Jump in the car, jump in the car.
Do you have any dreams? It's like future dreams. Nobody's ever asked me that. You didn't have as much of a script. Yeah. You shot chronologically, and loads of you didn't have much acting experience yeah. at all. Did it kind of feel like she was making a documentary of you, or did you get the sense of it being her vision? Like, there was a script. I just didn't have it. <laughs> so I would get, like, the side the day before or the day of. But, like, a lot of the van scenes felt very documented. Very, It was very much just kind of us hanging out and the camera all of a sudden would be rolling or not rolling. But the rest of it was scripted, and so you could see her vision as you would wake up each day and be like, this is what we're doing today. You start to uncover more, just like anyone else watching the film. You know, it was the same surprise experience. One of my favorite things in the film was the power play between your character and Shia's character, Jake. Mm -hmm. I just kept thinking, like, one day you hate each other, the next day you love each other. Mm -hmm. Was that hard to draw the line in terms of, like, your friendship? Sometimes, yeah, you'd be in it and you would just, I'd have to be angry and upset the whole day. So then we'd get back and I'd just be like, Ugh. and then have to remember, like, wait, no, you didn't actually do anything to me. Think you think you're special. I am nothing. You don't mean nothing to you. Nothing. Because. Poverty that's shown in the film is yeah. so it's really upsetting. Is yeah. that something that you recognize from like communities in Texas? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, it, it can be really, really, really depressing. I think the beauty of it is like when you grow up in something like that and you don't have a lot of opportunities and that's all you really know, it can be really sad, but also there could be a lot of beauty and like a lot of light there. You just gotta dig a little deeper and with people too, you know, like a lot of those people you think can be scary because they look a little rugged because they're not in high fashion clothes, but they can be some of the sweetest, most genuine people ever. So, yeah, it's kind of like the point, I think, is, yeah, you see, like, the bad parts or whatever, but also there is light because you got to look for it yourself. Your whole tribe that you had, that you were going around the country with, with those guys, they all picked up from just off the street, found everywhere? Yeah, pretty much everyone was kind of picked up, like, in their hometown. That's how, like, real and authentic it was, you know? It's just, they were that kid from Missouri and Virginia, my brother and sister, they're from Oklahoma. We met them as we went along. Have you kept in touch with them all? Yeah, like pretty much most of them. I just have, like I said, we, we built this family and this bond, and so I can't like let that go. <laughs> and I don't want to, you know? Yeah. So I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't know what to eat around here. You're thinking between a breakfast or Thai type thing. Maybe Indian, I don't really know. Okay, hmm. then I know where you should go. You okay. should just go up to Camden Market. <laughs> Camden Market. <laughs> There's like a vegan burrito place actually, which looks pretty good. That sounds actually really good, vegan burritos. Nice. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs>